rolling. Um, so um, I am doing a quick screencast on this uh, little part of module two, which says connect lesson plans. And there just really isn't a resource geared at online that actually would fit. Um, I looked around and a lot of uh, people were listing like the elements of a lesson plan and it just sort of, I just really couldn't find something. So I figured maybe I can just kind of quickly address this with a short video. Okay, so um, what do I want to say about connect lesson parts? It's a problem I think I had and I'll pull up uh, my example. Now when you, uh, hopefully this is this obviously occurred before you've probably seen some version of this and hopefully um, if it's still in uh, module one it, it's uh, more connected and so this is an example of what I'm showing you from this lesson is parts that do go together in my mind but there there just isn't a logical connection from one to the other you know so for instance in this here video, um, which I believe I can click over to, let's go over to module two. See, I have module two objectives. So we all start with learning targets and success criteria. And right now I'm trying to address this objective. <clears throat> so here's my example. It's called the Dorsene Storyboards. Um, there is a, um, this is what I usually have posted on my web page. And I, I sort of learned how to use my web page in a way to kind of like capture all these pieces. So it might start like where the students would um, enter and they would look at this, they would have the calendar and then there would be lesson resources, um, tips, and then a rubric um, and other elements that could be helpful on, on the rubric. Um, and so um, let me get out of this. Because the next um, thing is this video that's trying to encourage um, people to not focus on the artistry of a storyboard, but actually just make one that's detailed enough to just shoot the movie. Because the movie, let's focus on the movie for the art. And then down here, I usually um, would um, have this. Um, well, actually, I think I do inside the assignment. I think I have it connected to where there's a copy of it that's no longer just Google Docs. Oh no, actually, this is just a Google Doc still. Um, and um, I think that that is a bummer. Unable to load file. Something went wrong. Hey, it's, it's there. It's uh, stay, don't, okay. We're just gonna use this version of it for a second. <clears throat> this rubric, um, which is fairly simple, um, goes with that and, there's a process that I used to use, and I might still use sometimes where I share the document with students, the rubric, and then they would bold the score that they thought the work was, and then I would highlight that, and that would be a discussion that we could have. Um, if we do it before the due date, it could be another source of uh, formative assessment. Um, and, and, you know, and inside of all this, you know, management that I'm talking about, or this organization is, when does the formative part of the assessment come into play. And so I'm not always going to put something about that on my web page, um, but I do want to make it clear that I'm giving feedback and I want to make it clear that I'm giving them a certain kind of feedback. We'll have had a discussion about this, like what kind of um, feedback, like what's appropriate, like something you like, tell us something you like about the work and then something you would approve, you know, improve. And I would do that too. And I usually start with a peace of mind so it's a little bit less threatening to students um and and sometimes we do that as a whole group because i can take it i wouldn't do that obviously with students that'd be sort of like small group one-to-one -one type of, of thing so i can get away from this so i guess um <clears throat> there was one video that was kind of relevant in a way where the um the uh speaker was talking about drawing a line and taking um it, the the person viewing, and let's just pretend there's a line right here. The person viewing or being a part of the course has a need. They're trying to get towards something. And at the end of the line is the something, is like the learning. And they're going to be compelled through this if we create something engaging. But I like to kind of think of it as there might be multiple paths that a student can take with choice. But could you, even just in your mind, draw a line from the very beginning of the lesson all the way to the end, and then try to answer the question, would this make sense to a student? And um, that's all I have to say. I hope this makes sense. And if not, contact me, and uh, thank you very much.
let me see if I know how to stop this video now. This can be a tricky part. Okay, let's see. Stopping the video, the tricky part. There it is. Stop. Bye-bye.